Let's first of all welcome back. It's good to see you. Why are you here and what brought you back to the football club? Yeah, I'm back. Um, obviously, I'm on my coaching badges just now, so I'm doing my A licence and the uh, club kindly invited me back in to, to help me complete those. It was a fantastic uh, opportunity and, um, you know, made sense for me to come back. You know, Luke Dowling was in contact with me um, very early um, in the summer, um, offered me the opportunity. Had a few little things going on, but eventually took him up on it and, um, yeah, it's, um, it's great to be back. Is coaching something that you always wanted to do? Yeah, always. It's always been in my mind from a young age that um, when I finished my playing career, I'd love to go into coaching and management. So it's something I've always thought about and now I'm really thinking about it and trying to get my badges done, what you need to do, and enjoying learning on the, the other side of the game. I suppose being a captain as well for so long here at this football club, how many transferable skills are there from being a captain and now being a coach? No, without a doubt, you know, it's um, or it's leading people, you know, it's setting standards, it's uh, reiterating to people when things aren't going well, you know, it's finding a voice in the dressing room, on the pitch, it's all these things, you know, you're almost coaching while you're a captain, It's a, so it's a smoother transition, it's a smoother transition for an experienced player, but when you're a captain and you're quite vocal, it also helps as well. What have you seen of our youngsters so far and have they impressed you? Yeah, I've only been in here a short time, but they have impressed me. Um, very respectful, you know, good people skills first and foremost, um, good attitudes in training, um, obviously still got a lot to learn and a lot to improve in all different areas and just but I've been really impressed, it's a great level to work at, um, fantastic standards around the club and hopefully I can implement and improve them as well while I'm here. And what's it like being back here at the training ground, have you seen a few familiar faces? Yeah, there's plenty of familiar faces and it's great to be back. Um, fantastic place to be, great environment to work and it always has been. Um, it's been spruced up a little bit as well, so it's um, you know, um, it's nice to be around. And no, It's great to be back. I loved, I loved my time here, especially around the training ground as well because there was good people and there was always a good atmosphere in the building. You always speak, Fletch, about how good this football club is. You always speak very highly of it, almost on a, on a par with Manchester United and the time that you spent there. What is it about West Bromwich Albion that you find so special? Again, it's, it goes to the people, the fans. It's a real family club. It felt, feels like a family. Obviously, it's a massive football club and you know Manchester United is as well. But the thing that transcends and makes these clubs special is the family feel. And that's what you get when you come in the building. The atmosphere around the place is fantastic. The people who work there make it special. And it's the unseen people. Guys in the media team, the kit staff, the physios, the kitchen staff, all these people, the office staff. All these people play their part in the success of football club, make it a good environment for the players, build relationships. All these things help on the field performances and it just makes it an enjoyable experience and a place you want to come every day to work because it's a pleasure to be employed or to work for such a fantastic football club. You're familiar with the world of punditry now. We've seen you on the TV and on the radio, of course, as well. But how would you assess our start to the season under Slavin Bilic? I think it's been fantastic. It's been great to watch. Um, a fantastic summer of recruitment as well. I think the club had a fantastic summer and they've carried that on now to the beginning of the season. Top of the league, deservedly so as well. You know, they've showed different styles of their game. They've showed dominating matches, being the better team. They've shown they can come from behind, deal with adversity. I never say die attitude with a number of goals and late goals and comeback goals. These are all strong qualities. You know, a top class manager and giving the players what I like is I see a, an organised team with an idea of how they want to play, but at the same time a lot of response, a lot of flexibility for the players to go and express themselves, decide on the pitch of where they feel the best areas. You know, they don't feel restricted in any way, and I think you really see that in their performances. You've worked under some top class managers, there, and most notably, of course, Sir Alex Ferguson. But in Slavon Bilic here, we seem to have a manager who is getting the best out of the club and the best out of the players. How much can you take from him as you start your coaching journey? You can learn from everybody, but no doubt you can learn from a successful manager such as him. You know, his people skills are fantastic. The way he deals with everyone around the club, he's got time for everyone. He's got a calm and influence around the place as well. I'm sure he raises his voice when he needs to, but he just absorbs confidence and character. And, you know, from the small glimpses I've seen, his people skills are fantastic. And that's not just with the, the playing side of thing, that's with everyone throughout the club. And, you know, it's fantastic for West Bromwich Albion to have such a successful manager and hopefully I can, you know, pick his brains on a few things, watch a few of the first team training sessions and get some ideas because you can't help but learn from someone like that. 
In terms of the players this season, plenty of new faces here at the football club. Has anyone in particular caught your eye when you've been watching games? Yeah, well, obviously, I always refer to central midfielder. I think Jake Livermore's form has been fantastic, but Romain Sawyers has been a breath of fresh air. I, thought, I think he's been a fantastic addition in the midfield. Um, fantastic football played against him last year. He was outstanding for Brentford. And, you know, to come back to West Bromwich Albion at the age he is, the experience he is, um, he's arguably one been the best midfielder in the league. And, you know, hopefully... He continues that form and you know leads us back to the Premier League. Just finally, can you see this club getting back to the Premier League this year? Yeah, without a doubt. You know, very unfortunate last year. Hopefully, we can go one step ahead. As I said, I've been impressed with everything so far. It's a long way to go, and there will be blips. And let's you know, let's be aware that you know that there will be a time where it's maybe not all plain sailing or as good as it has been, and we'll have a dip because that's the Championship. But at the same time, the club have shown the character in the games, and so far that they can come through that and they can deal with adversity. And I think they're in a fantastic position, but there's a long way to go. So the manager will be the first one to say it. Nothing's achieved yet. You know, we've got to go all the way till the end of the season, May, and get ourselves back in the Premier League where the club belongs.